Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Chart of the Week. You now, over the past few months, I've looked at charts of things like GDP, retail sales, even online penetration. Well, today, something a little bit different. It's a chart that you've probably actually seen, but I think when I show it to you, you won't be shocked, but it should raise some questions about what is going to be happening in the future. Now, for many of us, there's a big villain in the marketplace. No, but it's not Wall Street. It's actually the Fed. Today, that's what we're going to talk about, is the Federal Reserve System, and more importantly, the Fed Funds Rate. Let's build a chart out to give you an idea of what we're really looking at. What we're looking at here is the Fed Funds Rate going back into 1954 through just a couple of days ago. You can see the scale on the left-hand side goes from 0% all the way up to 20. And as we slowly bring in that Fed Funds Rate, you'll notice that back in the 60s, you know, it's 2 to 4%, and all of a sudden spikes up in the 80s up to like 19%. We were talking really high inflation that period of time. But what's interesting is how it slowly tapered down. If anybody here is following technical analysis, you would look at this and say, hey, you know what? It's on a downtrend. And of course, if this was on a price chart of any other company, I'd be thinking bearish. I'd be thinking it's probably going to go down further. Now, of course, it's currently at zero. So it begs the question, how low can it go? On the hard right edge, you can see how it's aggressively fallen from roughly about two and a quarter percent all the way to zero in just a couple of months. That's because the Fed has gotten very aggressive at lowering those rates because they want to stimulate the economy. So you may be asking yourself, well, what is the Fed funds rate? Well, this is generally what's considered the cost of doing business for big banks and financial institutions. It's interbank lending, the rate at which money can transfer and is charged for banks by the Fed. It's also an anchor point for things like the 30-year mortgages, right? So those of you buying a home, you'll notice they've been very, very low recently. Arguably, some of the lowest rate mortgages we've ever seen. So when we look at that chart, it's kind of interesting. You have to ask yourself, well, we've been stuck at zero. If we start to meet some more market headwinds and things do start to get a little bit dicey going forward and we don't have this V bottom recovery that everybody's talking about, what does that mean for the Fed? What can they do to help stimulate the economy? Begs the question, do we see negative rates? I'd love to get your comments down below the video whether you think we'll get negative rates, but it's very interesting to think, could the Fed go negative? Never been done before here in the US, but could we go down below zero on that Fed funds rate? Meaning now all of a sudden we could see negative mortgages. Imagine you're buying a home and you take out a $300,000 mortgage, but you actually only have to pay back $280,000 over the course of the loan. That's because of a negative rate. And why would that happen? It would have to happen because they're trying to discourage investors from saving. They don't want there to be money sitting in your bank account. They're going to force you to push that money out of the economy and hopefully stimulate the economy. I don't know. It's a weird situation, something that I've never been a part of and never studied about in any of my textbooks in college. It's something we'll have to wait and see if it does happen. But by the look of this chart and the way that things are going, it does look like there could be an increased probability that the Fed would be going negative here. Of course, that all hinges on a much more grim view of the markets going forward. Right now, things are okay. But if Q2 earnings come out very poorly and we start to see some major downside, maybe coronavirus cases start to spike, then all of a sudden that Fed could pull that one out of their bag and it will be a wild ride to be sure, something that I've never seen before, which is why I made today's Fed Funds Chart of the Week your Chart of the Week. We'll see you next time. If you'd like to learn more, visit TraderMerlin.com or join us live on our show every day, Monday through Friday at 2 p.m. Pacific on YouTube.